Vanderbilt Lodge 462. Your host, Galvin Castine. Welcome to our July 16th edition of Our Hour. This week we have Young Love Blossoming in chapter number five of our High Feather series entitled Ballerina. We want to thank the Clinton Essex Franklin Library System for supplying us with this High Feather series. Following High Feather, we have This Week in Softball with Dog Schneider, this week featuring Eris Labs versus Monette's Furniture Vix Tavern. It's a game played this last Tuesday. However, leading uh, off uh, tonight's show will be highlights of the Champlain Russes Point. Girls Grasshopper League game played last Saturday morning. We'd like to thank Sherm Blow for the use of his equipment in taping this game. And also thank the people at Bark Homes TV and Furniture for the use of their equipment in copying this tape so that we could show it over the air. So right now we're off to St. Mary's and the Champlain Russes Point Girls Grasshopper Softball game. This first batter that we're showing here is Mr. Alton Bishop for Rouse's Point. All we're going to do is show each of the kids batting one time. Some of them, like Mr. Bishop there, just hit at the first pitch. Others, as you'll see, will stand up here and take several pitches. There'll be several walks in this game. This batter here is Kim Angtill of Rouse's Point. This next batter is Jessica Miro from Rouse's Point. This young batter just got a hit is Jamie Garrett. Umpire behind the plate. Lorraine Bedard. For Champlain, this is Kathy Robbins. This game was played last Saturday. Saturday morning at the St. Mary's Field. The umpires were Lorraine Bedard and Billy Corcoran. The coaches for Rouse's Point, Brian Moore and Connie Angtill. Coaches for Champlain, Joyce Kerr, and Steve LePage. Our attempt here was just to, uh, as I mentioned earlier, just show each batter batting once. This batter here is Jamie Dawson for Champlain. We had hoped to be able to bring highlights of all the Youth Commission games. However, the camera we were using for this along with Mr. Sherm Blow was out of commission. So if anybody out there has a camera and has the time and would like to film the Youth Commission games for us, the games we're looking for are the champlain Russes Point games so we can cover both areas at one time, please, uh, please contact us. We are unable to... This next batter here is Sarah Southwick, a first pitch hitter. The players who swung at the first pitches didn't get to be on camera very long. The next Champlain batter is Jennifer Dawson. Infield. Touch first to second base. He did it. 
The reason we are unable to cover these games with a new channel's equipment is because our battery charger isn't working and we have to be near electricity. So the only field that we have with ready electricity is the Beaumont field. And uh, that allows us to cover the Lake Champlain League games. But the Youth Commission games are played at the elementary schools, the middle school, and at uh, St. Mary's field. And with no electricity nearby, we're unable to cover these games. So if anyone out there would uh, like to volunteer their time and their camera, I'm sure these kids uh, appreciate the coverage. This next batter for Champlain is Becky Boyer. Coming up after this is our High Feather Series. This week's High Feather Series is titled Ballerina. Following that is the Arist Monette's Vix softball game from this past Tuesday with Dog Schneider doing the play-by-play. Next batter here is Lisa Bergen. One of the things we appreciated in watching this game was the fact that coaches on both sides were more interested in putting in all their players than they were in winning. This next batter is Tammy Bergen for Champlain. This here is Jennifer Eddy for Champlain. This is Champlain Rouse's Point Grasshopper Girls action. And again, our intent here is just to show each batter with one trip to the plate each. The batter now for Champlain is Michelle LePage. Looks like she has enough hats on. A shot of some of the fans. As you can see, every seat in the place was taken. Not a vacant seat in the house. Capacity crowd at St. Mary's Field last Saturday. There's a first pitch hitter hustling down there. That was Sean Sutcliffe. 
for Rouse's point. This is Christine Lefebvre batting. That's uh, the backup catcher. Both of these teams use the backup catcher. That's Nancy Tedford. So bring up Mindy Annette for Rouse's point. Now we're back to the Champlain. There's a shot of these Champlain coaches. Tell me we have a left-handed batter. One of the very few left-handed batters here. This is Suzanne Manette. You can catch those, Jeff. You should be out if you catch them. Kim, when there's nobody going to second, you can play over a little bit. It'll make your throw to first easier. Okay, if there's a first... Yeah. No further. If a person... Close one out, close one. For those of you tuning in to see the Arist versus Manette's Vix ball game, that'll be on following this about half an hour after this is done. Immediately following the Champlain West Point Pony League action that we're watching will be High Feather. Okay, now we've covered all. At this point, all the Champlain batters who have batted thus far. So we're moving on to Rouse's point again. And this is Ryan McManus at the plate. Again, all we're doing here is making sure that each, each child got, got one shot in the camera. So after they batted once on the camera, that's all we covered. One of these batters was... Uh, quicker than we were and we have to go back and shoot him after the game as you'll see this batter here is Cheryl Kaye trying to hit the cameraman that'll bring up Lynn McGrath shot of the Champlain pitcher Sarah Southwick This is Lynn McGrath batting for Rouse's point. A reminder that we're in need of a mobile camera. Last week we covered Grasshopper, uh, excuse me, Pony League Baseball. This week we have Grasshopper Softball. But if we're to do, do any more of these games, we're going to need a camera and somebody to, to run it. Batting right now is Eric Wood. Okay, He's only on here for a second, okay, so watch him close. Not sure quite exactly what happened here, but here's Eric Wood, and there he goes. This is the pitcher, Alton Bishop, and in the background is the Rouse's Point coaches, Brian Moore and Connie Angtill. The batter for Champlain here is Nancy Tedford. I want to apologize to Eric Wood. Uh, didn't realize till after we viewed the film that we only had him on for that very short second. The umpire again is Lorraine Bedard. The umpire manning the bases is Billy Corcoran.
This batter for Champlain should be Jennifer Tetro. This will be our last Champlain batter. We have four more Rouse's Point batters. And then following that, we'll go into our High Feather Series that we obtained from the Clinton Essex Franklin Library System. The Champlain coach, Joyce Kerr. We're back here now to Rouse's Point. This first batter is Kim Clark oh, right here batting. will bring up Jerry Goodett. Chokes up on the bat. Must be a singles hitter. This will bring up Kelly Angtill. Incidentally, Champlain won this game. I think the score was 7-4. to four. But again, both coaches, I should say all four coaches, coaches on both sides, play this with the intent of letting the kids enjoy themselves. And the emphasis wasn't on winning or what the score was. There's the jubilant Champlain team, but don't go away. We have a uh, we have another batter to, to bat. Some of these kids stood there and took 10 pitches or so. Others swung at the first pitch, and one of the ones that swung at the first pitch is Scott Sutcliffe. And uh, we had him take a couple swings after the game, so he'd be on camera too. There was standing room only at the game. There's the huge crowd getting ready to leave. Like I said, don't go away. We have young Scott Sutcliffe coming up. Here's Scott. That's it for Pony League Baseball. Or Pony League Softball. Stay tuned now for High Feather. Next week we hope to have some young bowlers. Right now we have High Feather coming up. Following that will be this week in softball for this week's game featuring Manette's Vix versus Eris Labs. On the mound for Eris will be that man sitting right down there, Mark Miro. Right now, we're off to summer camp. 